fist. Uh, wh what's it look like? A cow. Very good, Sammy. <laughs> Uncle Arthur. I'm just complying with the child's request. She wanted more milk. What's wrong with getting it from the refrigerator? I never milked a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Really, Uncle Arthur. But the little darling's getting a big kick out of the cow. When was the last time she laughed at a bottle of milk? <laughs> anyway, I only came back to find out how Darren's doing. Terrible. He thinks witchcraft is at the bottom of all his troubles and he won't even get up. I don't know what to do. How about a hot bed? Hot bed? Uh, same as a hot foot, only we do it to the whole bed. <laughs> Uncle Arthur, this is serious. He's never been like this before. That bad, huh? Why don't I go up and cheer him up? Please, he feels bad enough. I resent that. I'll have you know that beneath this clown's mask lies another clown's mask. <laughs> Don't worry, Sammy. I'll have a little man-to-man -man talk with him and see if I can't get his confidence back. Knock, knock. Who's there? Chester. Chester who? Chester Gigolo, everywhere I go. <laughs> Just what I need. <laughs> My boy, you may not believe this, but I am here to help you. You really want to help me? I do. Go away. I'm not going to exchange insults with you because I don't want you to lose your amateur standing. <laughs> you have been unmercifully persecuted by the Madame Lafarge of the broomstick set, otherwise known as your mother-in-law. You have every right to cry foul. Well, I am glad to hear someone agrees with me. I not only agree with you, I am going to do something about it. Here, take this and keep it. What is it? A lucky charm. As long as you have it, no harm can befall you, and that includes any kind of witchcraft. What does it do, explode? <laughs> okay, I, I deserve that. But tell the truth, wouldn't a charm like this come in uh, handy around here? It sure would, if I can believe. I'll prove it to you. Get out. Hold this and stand there. Uh, what, uh, what, what? What's that for? You'll see. Oh, I uh, don't want to alarm anyone. <laughs> oh, that's the oldest trick in the bag. You've got blanks in that gun. Oh, really? Well, look, I appreciate your interest, Need but... more convincing, huh? Okay. Climb up. This is ridiculous. Don't I... fight me, boy. I'm trying to save you. Now get up there. as long as you have that charm. Jump. <laughs> it really works, doesn't it? Of course. Do you know what this means? For the first time since my marriage, I'm immune. They can't touch me. I can't be hex, zapped, or twitched. From now on, I'm on an even footing with every other human being. I'm going back to the office and show. <laughs> if you want to stay on that even footing, you better hang on to this fella. Uh, we, uh, we don't have to mention this to Samantha, do we? Oh, of course not. It'll be just our little secret. You know, it's fun. You make one little breakthrough, and suddenly they all recognize you for what you really are. What's that? 
Well, you know what you were saying about me this morning. Oh, uh, they, they recognize you for a sweet and loving husband? No. <laughs> you know how you always tell me I'm smart and talented and creative. And modest. Honey, I can't help it. Did I tell you about O.J. Slocum? Twice. But who's counting? Larry thought I'd be eaten up alive, but no. Right off the top of my head, I had it. We're nuts about our soup. We're nuts about our soup? Slocum was stunned. So am I. Well, honey, I don't say it's the greatest phrase in the world, but it's got something. It's got, um, it's got, um... Mediocrity? <laughs> well, uh, sweetheart, it, it really isn't that... Everybody I... loved it. Now, don't get grumpy. What do I know about the advertising business? Yeah. Anyway, in the afternoon, I practically sewed up a new candy account. It was one of those great days when everybody was going along with me, and I have a feeling it's going to keep on going that way. Bravo. Tomorrow morning, I see Mr. McMahon on his yacht, and from then on, it's going to be up, up, up. Good, good, good. Who knows where it'll end? Maybe someday I'll become president. Of McMahon and Tate? No. President. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Stevens, glad to have you aboard. Glad to be aboard, sir. Would you like a cup of my special coffee, Stevens? Uh, thank you, sir. Poor Gregory. Yes, sir. Let me congratulate you on being chosen one of the advertising men of the year. And I might add that you reek of the magnetic personality that goes into the making of great men. Oh, that's especially complimentary coming from you, Mr. McMahon. Did you know that I was the first advertising man of the year 25 years ago? No, that, that's quite an honor, sir. Not really. I started the thing and elected myself. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> What's in this? 151 proof rum. How do you like it? It's delightful. Four parts rum and one part coffee. Coffee does wonderful things to rum. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's a funny thing. You know, I, uh, I asked you over here to uh, give you uh, ordinary congratulations. Meeting you again, I see that it's a great deal more than that. You are the crown prince of McMahon and Tate. That's very flattering, Mr. McMahon, but... No, 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 none of that modesty. It doesn't fit in at all with the high-voltage personality that's coming across to me. I always wondered who was behind McMahon and Tate. Now I know. Aren't you forgetting Larry Tate? I've tried, but I've never been able to. <laughs> Larry's got a lot of good qualities. He's hardworking. He's not impressed by facts. He's slippery. He lies beautifully, and he's got a nice head of hair. But he's had it. Frankly, deep down, he's shallow. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, I disagree. I know Larry pretty well, and... Now, I know that you're loyal, Darren, but it's time that Larry turned over his surfboard to you and let a younger man ride the wave of the future. <laughs> Remember, Larry gets a cut on every account you bring in. Well, that's uh, true. Actually, you'll be doing him a favor. It's a, a nice way of looking at it. Well, there's always a nice way of looking at things. Well, I'm going to start on Project Stevens. And uh, don't you worry about Larry. He'll be in line for a big bonus. I'm just happy to find a man that has what I like to call rememberability. That's the human version of product identification. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I do have a lot of ideas I'd like to carry out. I want to see McMahon and Tate ready for the future. That's the way I like to hear you talk, and I like the way you said that. Well, I'll be seeing you at the party tonight for our Advertising Man of the Year. Sir. Well, there goes an impressive young man, Gregory. I thought so, too, sir. Yeah. And for the life of me, I don't know why I'm impressed. <laughs> I hope that's a good sign. <laughs>